Boy, let me tell you about this time with a IRS straight flamed your boy. I'm talking about how about you grilled me. You feel me? They hit me with a letter like you owe twenty thousand. I'm like twenty thousand. How I'ma pay that? I ain't got no money. The wealthy empire network. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jeremy Cash live and direct with another valuable video for you. This video is going to be super valuable because you need this. But first and foremost, I am not a tax professional. I repeat, I am not a tax professional. You can take this advice if you want to or you can't. It's completely up to you, but always seek professional help. All right, I'm just gonna tell you how I do my thing, you know what I'm saying? And then you do your thing how you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Or you can just take bits and pieces and mix it all together like that. But let me tell y'all about this little story right quick, right? So back in 2014, you know what I'm saying? I was doing this company called MCA, right? I was doing a company called MCA. And your boy made about 70,000. A good year, had a good year, was killing the game, right? Then I didn't pay no taxes. What? Because I was young, ain't nobody ever taught me about taxes. So I didn't pay it, I wasn't even thinking about it, you know what I'm saying, like this. And uh, I got cooked. Like the IRS waited like five years, four, five years down the line. Didn't say nothing, didn't get no notices in the mail. Then all of a sudden I got a notice in the mail and they was like, you owe back taxes 20,000. I'm like, 20,000? And by that time I had went broke. So guess what? I ain't got no money. So how I'm supposed to pay y'all? You know what I'm saying? So this video right here is going to be how you can pay your taxes when it comes to Forex. But again, I am not a tax professional. This is just how I do my stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I want y'all to know that I am not a tax professional. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that because I ain't trying to get sued. You feel me? But this is how y'all can do it, man. And um, first and foremost, make sure y'all like this video, right? Like the video up, all the way up. Get it to like 2,000 likes. Y'all been doing really good lately. Do that. Like the video. Comment on the video with your cash apps, your Bitcoins, your PayPals, whatever you got. We're doing giveaways here pretty soon, so we want to make sure y'all get that money. You know what I'm saying? And then also make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. So let's get straight into the video. Yo, yo, yo. So we are here, big fella. Let's get to it. All right. So. Once again, I am not a tax professional and uh, you should seek help, okay? Okay. All right. Nah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, uh, this right here is what I did um, when I learned everything I learned, right? You start you an LLC. All right. No, you don't have to. It's completely up to you. You got a lot of tax advantages when you do an LLC. All right. I know you, you, some of y'all might be young. Y'all don't know what this is. Just so you know, limited liability, you know, company, corporation, however you want to say it. But, you need to be, you know, a legit business first and foremost, whenever you want to do this. And you got benefits like, you know, business credit and all that stuff you can build later in the future to make some more money off your money. You know what I'm saying? So this is the website I came to to get, start my LLC. It was real simple. Uh, it's Ink File. I'm not, you know, a sponsor by them or nothing. But you can always go here. You know, you can click what you want to be. LLC, S Corp, C Corp. I usually do LLC. I don't really too much understand all of these just yet, just to be honest. So I ain't really did these yet, but once I understand them, I probably will. But uh, LLC, and I picked the state I was in, all right? And then after that, it gave me these packages, right? So it comes with a lot of good stuff, right? And so it'll show you the state fee because each state does have their own fees. Now, if you're in like California or something like that, I think yours is gonna be like a lot higher. You know, the cost of living is always higher higher you feel me but uh, maybe new york y'all might be a little higher but mine it's pretty low all right so my state fee was only 104 package fee was only 149 so mine came out to 253 yours may be higher or lower you know depending on where you live but it does come with a lot of stuff you know your ein business tax number which ein you can actually get for free off the irs website but i, I just wanted mine all bundled in it's my first time doing this so i just you know did it they'll send you a little book and all that with all your information in it and your llc or you could do this one it's completely up to you like i said i just wanted all the you know perks i don't want to do this one here but yeah so this is how you can start your llc uh once you do that you'll be able to start open up a business bank account if you want to open up a business bank account now listen closely to this y'all they do give you one on here which is bank of america but if you go and do try to open up a business bank account and you try to tell them that you're doing foreign exchange they probably not gonna let you open it okay now what we had to do uh and like i said this is completely up to how y'all want to do it but this is what we did uh we just told them that we you know we it, we sell courses 
and things like that for the foreign exchange market because they were asking like do you trade in the foreign exchange i guess they consider it as like a risky investment so they don't want they don't do uh they don't really open up business bank accounts for like trading and stuff like that so you know you'll have to figure that out on your own but you know just to let you know all right so we got that taken care of the business bank account blah 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 got that in there and then uh the next thing you need to know is this where is it tax brackets guys you need to know your tax brackets right so one thing i messed up for uh in 2014 where i messed up at i didn't know nothing about taxes or nothing so i've never been taught anything about it so i just thought you just made money because i was used to having a job they always took taxes out so i thought that's kind of how it worked but it didn't you got to take her your own stuff so you know you want to keep good books and stuff like that so this right here is the tax brackets right so if you're single you go in this column if you're married and filing jointly that means together you go in this column married filing separate this column and head of household you know this column so for all the single people let's say you you know for the year you plan on you making from and with trading like zero to nine thousand dollars right usually anything over six hundred dollars you got to file uh and things like that and that does go back to whatever kind of broker you're using real quick let me let me skip to this if you're using traders way which is an offshore broker uh you want to make sure they usually will send you out. They should send out like a 1099 at the end of the year if you, you made enough money or whatever. If you're concerned about that and you want to make sure, you can always go to their contact us section and just email them. They're usually good at getting back to you, right? And you just email them and say, hey, uh, do you all send out tax forms at the end of the year, you know, with profit and losses and things like that. So you'll be able to, you know, do that. All right. So you can always reach out to them for that if you just want to make sure that they send out those documents because you do need those and then like as far as your tax bracket this is how much you would pay in taxes per transaction uh like i said i'm not a tax professional but like you can always seek professional help on this kind of stuff but this is kind of what i do i usually like i told you guys my goal was usually to do like two to five hundred a day sometimes i do more sometimes i do less uh, so a lot of the times I usually uh, would try to do at least 20 something percent of my whatever I earn and withdraw, whatever I withdraw, try to do 20 percent of that and put that in a separate savings account. So if you have like a business account, you can open up a savings and then whatever you make, let's say you make. Let me go to the calculator and see if we can get this taken care of, you know, because I know a lot of y'all are visual. You know what I'm saying? I got to see this stuff. All right. So let me see real quick. All right, so this is usually the best thing to do. So let's say you withdraw a thousand dollars, right? So this is what you could do. You could say twenty. I always do this. Twenty percent of one thousand dollars. Enter, and that'll let you know how much you take out of that to put in your savings account for taxes. Okay. So I usually do twenty. Like I said, depending on the tax bracket uh, that you're in or whatever, you could do twenty, twenty-five. I'm usually in this range right here, about 24 uh, on the on this side of things. Whenever I'm like taking out for taxes, depending on wherever you gonna be at, you need to do that. So whatever, anything you get. So maybe if it was, you know, just 500, then you know you would take out $100 for taxes and put that to the side. And then what you wanna do is pay your taxes quarterly okay so quarterly let me go to this one right here these are the dates that are paid every year quarterly right so april 15th is coming up so i will have to pay my taxes uh whatever i saved up all the way into april i will have to pay that in april then i save up again from april all the way to june and then i'll pay my taxes in june save up from june all the way to september pay those and then the 15th which is the i mean the january 15th which is the beginning of the year so that way all my taxes are paid now you do have what they call uh deductions and that's why it's good to have an llc because you can have a lot of different business deductions uh there's a lot of things that you can write off you know depending on what it is that you do you know and things like that so you can write off if you go you know if you use your car uh to to maybe go get somebody you can write that off you can write gas off you know, uh, anything dealing with business, right? So if you're going out to eat with a friend and y'all talking about business or y'all trading while y'all out, that can be considered, you know, could be considered, you know, um, 
a deduction that you can write off. So you may need to save those receipts. Uh, if you are somebody who is not uh, used to like keeping your books or keeping, you know, all your receipts and stuff, something good for you would be this. This is what I use. Uh, QuickBooks self-employed, right? They have an app on the phone. You can just type in QuickBooks in the app store or you can do it on a computer completely up to you. Um, they also have, you know, these different bundles that comes with TurboTax if you do your own taxes and things like that. But this right here is good because they also have what they got. They got the mileage thing that's already built into it. So if you want to track your miles throughout the year, you'll be able to do that. Uh, and then also if you, whenever you are out and you, let's say you buy a new laptop to trade Forex, right? Or you buy something, you can write, save that receipt. You can actually take a picture with the app, right? With this app and it'll, uh, take that and send it directly, you know, to your, your database and to your IRS and just those would be your deductions for the year. And so if you don't understand what I mean by deductions, let's say you make, you know, $10,000, right? Let's say you make like $10,000 and let's say you, I don't know, you owe like, I don't know, 8,000, I don't know, right? Let's say you owe like $8,000 to the IRS, okay? You can take, you can then calculate all the deductions that you did throughout the year. So let's say, you know, all of your deductions. So let's say you bought a laptop, uh, you, you know, you writing off your bills at home because you work from home or whatever you were trading from your phone. So you can write off your phone bill, things like that. Let's say that came out to like, you know, 3000, right. And then that would equal, you would only owe, you know, 5,000 left or something like that. Right. And you try to get your deductions down as low as possible. So you don't owe as much, but normally if you, you know, you pay your taxes quarterly, you shouldn't owe anything, but you could always, uh, use your deductions to get a refund check too as well. So that's always good. Another uh, good website is this Everlance. This is actually free. So you can use this on your computer or you can use it on your phone. I usually use it on my phone. Um, this one is free. It's a mile tracker as far as like your car and things like that whenever you're driving around. So you could just turn it on and wherever you drive, it just keeps track of the miles and it automatically starts to deduct from it. You can pick whether it's a business trip or not you know, things like that. And so you'll be able to use that. Uh, and pretty much guys, like I think for the most part, that's it, but you always want to make sure you, you know, you can call a tax professional, you can Google tax professionals and just call them and, and you know, maybe have a consultation with them and kind of explain, you know, what you got going on and things like that to make sure that you're safe. Uh, but you always want to make sure you pay the IRS cause they will come after you. You know what I'm saying? They will come after you. You will have to pay eventually. Uh, and you don't want them doing things like, you know, freezing your bank accounts or, you know, putting liens on your properties and taking your cars and stuff away. I know you guys seen it before, especially if you watch Umi and the Hellcat. Uh, I know you've seen, you know, stuff like that. So you want to always make sure you pay them. And uh, yeah, so just go over these. You can always Google like tax brackets to find out what tax bracket you're in if you're self-employed to kind of see, you know, what percentage of your income uh, that you need to start doing uh yeah so hopefully this video helped guys like i said go do those things make sure you pay your taxes and like i said uh try to you know if you can start an llc open up a business account and, and get it moving and let's make this money that's how we do it hopefully this video helped make sure you comment i hope it helped you feel me let's get it see you guys in the next video peace